What's up guys, it's uh, Tuesday the 21st of March. Haven't been over here for a few days. I was over here Saturday working on this log dog, trying to get it set up. I'll be running into some 16 footers coming up that I'm gonna need an additional log dog. So probably only worked up to 12 foot. So I'm gonna put that other one right in this area somewhere. On Saturday uh, morning, I dug these down a little bit. I think that's going to work a lot better. They're going to be level and even instead of having that built-in taper. I think that uh, in the long term will be much better. Set up some logs for uh, setting logs on. Be able to PB these over rather than relying on the equipment. It'll be a lot better in the long run. Um, equipment's not always going to be here. It's not mine, so I've been blessed to use it, but uh, it's not, not mine, so it'll be, be off working enough uh with the rightful owners at some point so um, i'll have it have it a little bit here and there but uh, this will be a lot better and it's a little bit safer just rolling these over there i'll come up with some sort of a gap right there i think i may end up using these eight by eights cutting them and that way i can catch get across the uh the rails there be a lot better for system i got a couple of rail things rail adjustments to make this one's been catching on me and giving me a little bit of issues i'm gonna see what i can come up with that one's also been catching on me, um, and it just just makes the mill wobble a little bit. And it's just offset, just a just a skosh. So we'll deal with it. See if we can get it set up. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. And a lot of snow has melted since I filmed last, so it's it's getting here. Spring is so close. It's supposed to be like 45 today, which is just awesome. Super excited about it. Still some fog in the air, but it'll it'll burn off here in a little bit, and kind of kind of see it already burning off. I'm real excited for the spring and summer uh, to get here. I'm sure it'll be over before I know it. Right, guys got this log dog set i'm not crazy about putting it on sawdust like that i don't it's just not super secure uh it wobbles around a little bit so i may end up you know grabbing a bucket of sand or something or a rock be a little bit better but i'm dealing with shot rock here which is kind of big and clunky well, i also got these set up i don't know that this will be an end end all be all but i think it'll work I'll be able to roll over that rail without hitting it um, and also get to the actual dogs. I think that'll work pretty well. Like I said, this is all kind of just a, a learning process and trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm going to roll this sucker on here. This is a hemlock. I did measurement on it. I can't remember the measurements. I think it's about a hundred board foot in there. I'm going to start measuring each one of these, just seeing exactly what my yield is. So yeah, I think that's a good process and a good way to do it. But We'll see. I'll roll it on here and see what we come up with. Uh. All right. I'm going to clean this log up a little bit. I got some rocks embedded in here. I can already see them. Pretty nasty ones. I got a hatchet. I think that'll be, be pretty helpful for chopping it up. It's just a cheap old hatchet. And I got a wire brush that I think will be really... That is already nice. I already ran it over, though. Okay, excavator. I'm gonna take care of my stuff a little bit. But yeah, I was able to get this dirt and stuff off of there and then find rocks on the surface. Works really well. These rocks, though, I'll have to get that are embedded in there. Some of them. I'm gonna show that. Bring it over here. That one right there. I'm not getting that out with the wire brush. I have to chop that sucker out. See what it looks like. There's a hemlock. Which doesn't withstand the weather too much, but also under the understanding when they're decked up in a deck of logs like there's the brown tailed whooping willow I knew it the rare sight
15 two by fours so far. I've cut out uh, three one by fours, just utilizing what I've got. Can't quite get a two by in some spots. So grab a one by where I can. But these are real nice, real pretty. Uh, you can kind of tell the difference a little bit. And these ones that are on the outer rind are a lot, a lot heavier. Got a lot more uh, water in them. But these ones in the middle are just real nice. They're just nice and straight. Um, they got some tension in them. I can tell while I'm cutting. You can kind of see that board peel off, off of the log as you're cutting. So you can kind of tell when there's tension in it. When there's not, it'll come off a lot cleaner, a lot straighter. But yeah, nice log. Hemlock's real, real pretty wood also. It doesn't have quite the you know variations in color, but it does a little bit. You'll see different colors, different yellows in there. Um, but real nice tree. You know, I'll be cutting primarily. I think the vast majority of what I'll be cutting is dimensional rough cut. So that's where I'm at. I know a lot of guys out there cutting big slabs and looks pretty fun uh, this mill has the ability to do that but it's not something i'm i'm focusing on right now just not where not where i'm at that's not a huge a huge draw so yeah i'm gonna fire this mill back up i'm gonna get a row of, another row of two by fours out of here looks like and i think that'll probably be about it you can kind of see where i'm getting down to the dog about as close as i really want to be to it anyways so i think i'll probably end up with another i don't know seven eight out of that i'll tally up our board foot and see what it does. Ended up with 23 two by fours and I think three, uh, three one by fours. Not in the best shape, got some weight on them, but still usable lumber. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this, it's kind of interesting. I noticed these cracks on the end of the log, um, they were on the end, um, and this is kind of interesting. This is ice that has well, water that has ultimately gone down in there, and it has made its way probably four foot down these logs. I got three boards that are like that, and you see how the you know water would just work its way down in there, and then when it freezes, it obviously swells. And yeah, I don't know. I thought that was kind of interesting. I saw the cracks, didn't know how they'd end up or what that would look like on this end, but yeah, let I me. Mean, it looks kind of cool. So, just kind of a interesting way. Water will always find a way. That is for sure. I did. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get a lot more done today. <laughs> um, I got one log milled up. I really should have got a lot more. Yeah, I got to wrap up here and go home and pump water. Uh, we, were, we were about out of water in our tank. So I got to run hose to the creek and, and get some water in there. And I got a city meeting tonight. So um, just didn't have as much time as I'd hoped. Uh, today is supposed to be a really nice day and it turned out to be. 
we'll see what the rest of the week holds. But um, I did get some stuff done, so I can't be completely defeated. But was was hoping to have a whole lot more lumber milled up. But you know what? It's not always about about cutting boards. I uh, hope you guys had fun today, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time.